Create React app sucks. There, I said it. Do I fit in with the cool kids now? I hope I do, because everybody's saying it. But then the question arises, Josh, what are the best alternatives to create React app? And while I'm not God and I can't tell you what the best alternatives are, because that's very subjective, I can tell you my favorites. And that's precisely what I'm gonna do in this video. You're gonna see my two favorites, one beginner level that is very close to the normal create react app but way faster and then a second one which is for a bit more advanced react developers that also want to get into full stack development and expect a way better developer experience out of their react code so let's get started with a method that's very similar to create react app but very fast and i really don't think there is a reason to not use it maybe there is tell me in the comments if there is but let's get into it and you'll see why i prefer it over create react app Okay, first alternative you have to create React app is Vite. Vite means fast on French and it's essentially very similar to a create React app, but way faster as the name might suggest. We can look into the documentation, which is for losers. So instead, we're just gonna get right into the CMD, go to our desktop if you're not already, or wherever you want to initialize this project. And then we can say npm and that describe exactly how to initialize a new Vite project here on the website with Vite at latest. So npm create Vite at latest. We're gonna hit enter and that's gonna ask us a bunch of questions. So first one, if we want to install this package, if we haven't already, we need to say yes. And then the project name is gonna be my create react app socks. We're gonna hit enter and then we can choose from a list of projects that V supports. That is not only React, it's also Vue, Vanilla, Preact, whatever. We want React, we're gonna hit enter and then we have four options, either JavaScript or TypeScript and then JavaScript plus SWC and then TypeScript plus SWC. You don't really need to know what this does, essentially it means it makes your project faster because it's a compiler that uses Rust under the hood as far as I know. So it's super fast. We're gonna choose TypeScript plus SWC and then we're gonna go into that directory we have just created with CD and then my create react app dash sucks. Go into there and then we can open that project with code dot and hit enter. That's gonna open that project in VS code and it's gonna look very similar if I zoom in here to a regular React app, there's a little bit of difference. We've got a vitenv.d.ts, but the rest is kind of similar. So we can just install all the dependencies that we need. So the arrows will go away. And then we can have a look at how fast this actually performs. Because we all know create React app is kind of a slug, right? It's, it's pretty slow. But let's start this up. Let's say yarn dev. By the way, that's also a small difference and I don't know why it looks so weird here in the CMD. Um, that's a little different. If we go into the package.json, we can see the command to start this app is not start anymore like in a create react app, but rather it's dev, just like with Next.js, for example. We can say yarn dev or npm run dev. And as you could see, that was pretty fast. We can copy this link, go into our browser, paste it. And if we make any change now in this app, we can go to you know the app.tsx and just change the div to say, hello. And then I'm gonna hit save and right away click on the browser. Let's do that, save browser, and it's already there. As you could see, it's lightning fast and therefore a way better alternative to create, to create React app in my opinion. Now, if you're working with Tailwind or something, the setup is specific for Vite. So for example, Tailwind CSS Vite, the setup is slightly different than with Create React App in that I think the only difference is the file extension, but I'm not even sure about that. It's very similar. So if you're familiar with Create React App, you're gonna be just fine with Vite with the only difference being it is way faster and therefore a better alternative. And let's look at the second alternative. So let's go into our desktop again with cd dot dot. And then the second alternative is Next.js. I think at this point it's even officially recommended to use a meta framework for React. And it makes sense, right? It gives you a lot of options. It makes your app faster. The only downside being, at least temporarily, that you need to get used to how to work in that framework. 
If you don't know, I make a lot of content on Next.js, so if you're not familiar at all, feel free to check out the videos on my channel. It is a better solution to create React app, in my opinion though, and it is also faster and gives you more options. So the way to create a Next app is to say npx create dash next dash app. And then depending on if you want to create a stable Next.js app or use the latest version, I usually go for the at latest. We can add the at latest or you can just leave it away if that's what you want. We can hit enter and that's gonna ask us if we want to install that. I've already installed it. So in my case, it's not gonna ask me. And then we can just say, um, CRA dash sucks again. That's what I'm gonna call the project. It's gonna ask us if we would like to use TypeScript. Um, so just like Vite, it's optional to use TypeScript. It's never mandatory. In my case, I'm gonna say yes. Yes, lint depends on what your preferences are. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, we want the source directory. And then it asks you if you would like the experimental app directory. Now, if you don't know, Next.js has released a version 13 at the end of 2022. And that fundamentally changes the Next.js parody paradigm in that there is a new app directory where you write code a bit differently. Some functions that you could use in Next.js 12 are now deprecated. Therefore, this is optional. It is not stable and not recommended for production as of this video. However, you can totally use it in production. I did a lot of times, so I'm gonna say yes. And we can just leave this at the default because we can always change this in the um, TypeScript config.json. It's gonna install our create react app. And a difference to Vite is that it will already install the dependency for us. As you can see in this case, installing dependencies and Vite did not do that. That's why the setup with Vite was significantly faster but it seems like it's stuck on the loading stage, but once this is done, the project is gonna be done with NPM, which they use for um, installing the dependencies, as you can see up here. And then I'm gonna be right back when this has finished. There we go, created CRA sucks again. Now we can go into that directory by saying CD and then CRA sucks again, oops, again. And then we can start up or create React app alternative with saying code dot and now we are inside of a Next.js application. It looks a bit different than a React application. For example, we have an API folder because Next.js combines the front end with the back end, allowing you to also write backend code in your application if you didn't know. That's why there is an API folder in which we essentially write Node.js code, slightly modified, but it's Node.js code. And the page.tsx is called page.tsx and not main.tsx because Next.js has a file-based routing system, meaning for each page.tsx, that is the actual page. So this would be the home page because it's in the root directory. And then if I wanted to create a new page, that would, you know, be called, and let's create that in the app folder. That's where it needs to be. Let's call this home page two. We create a folder for that page and inside of that folder, we create a new page.tsx. That is if you're working in the latest Next.js version. And then here we can initialize a normal React component that is gonna represent this page. And then if we navigate to this application, localhost 3000 slash homepage two, then this page would be shown right here because as I said, it's a file-based routing system. Those are my favorite alternatives to create React app in 2023. I think it makes a lot of sense to use alternatives because they're faster and provide you with more options. And that's all I want to share. If you use a different option, let me know. I'd be very excited to hear that. And then I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye-bye.